Uh, wait, talk about toxic on, relationships. Before we go on, I've yeah. got something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk about toxic relationships. We need yeah. wine. Yeah. Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Rise and Shine. It's Lynn Benetti, Jennifer Kayo, Jackie Ashley. And in today's topic, we want to talk about how to leave toxic relationships in order to be successful. Well, okay, hold on, wait, wait. Toxic relationships, we need a drink. <laughs> So I went to Mudgee, New South Wales. Is that an Aboriginal name? Like yes, Mudgee? actually, it's kind Mudgee of a strange is. name. It, yeah, is. Yeah. it is an Aboriginal name in New South Wales. It's about, uh, depending where you are, three to four so hours. So we live in Sydney, Sydney, and it's five, three to four hours yeah, yeah, from Sydney. Drive. Okay. And um, this is actually from Mudgee. Oh, this is from a um, honey wine. So I've never interested. had honey wine before. Yes, that's no. right. So I'm excited so to try. Over the I'm a recovering alcoholic, <laughs> which is true. Well, we're really? gonna, we, won't, we won't get into that topic <laughs> later on. We're talking about oh, toxic alcohol. relationships. Yes. And and actually, too. while we have a drink, let's let's you know break the ice a little bit and okay, so and ask some I'll, questions. I'll just sniff my okay, wine and yeah. I'll be happy. And you're, then maybe we'll, our recovering. answer will be different after we. Are you sure we should yeah. give Lynn yeah. this? Maybe we should give yeah. Lynn yeah. this. Oh, okay. This is, <laughs> what do you mean? this is so relevant for today's topic as well. Because, okay. Okay. Gosh. Jackie, Jackie, you first. Do you oh. think a person that cheats in a relationship can change? I, I would say for you, okay, because can change in general. It's, it's. I'm, I used to cheat and I can change. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I, I, I think what it really. I, I think to be clear, like, it's like, would you forgive that person that cheated on you? Will they change for you? Mm -hmm. Would be is is what I would love to hear. Okay, so would change. they? Do I believe they would change for, for you? Me. If they've cheated on you once. Mm -hmm. I do believe that people can change. Mm, yum. Yeah, it's good. <gasps> so good. Yeah. So I'm glad that we have a little bit. Otherwise, she's oh, so good. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, no, 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 I do believe that people can change. Um, there's so many different reasons. I, you know, it takes two to tangle in a relationship, right? And you know, and it depends also at what stages. So I, I yes, do believe that people can change. Yep. Yeah, so if your husband cheated on you, you would forgive him. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. I, I think I. <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends on what happened. I think <laughs> yes. I would say it depends on what happened, depending on how or if I do forgive. Right, but because basically, it, yes, possible. Po yes, I'm not saying no. Yes, I say yes, possible. I used to be a no, no. Yes, mm -hmm. right. Yes. Mm -hmm. However, like I also believe that things happen. It's not just you. It's a it's a two way relationship. So yes, it's more possible. complex than that. It's more complex. not black and white. Yeah. Correct. Um, I think I think when it comes to relationship and cheating, there's <laughs> stop it. I think when it comes to <laughs> It's all right, keep going. Stop, stop being my mother. I need a drink. <laughs> Can you believe this? Okay. Uh, well, I think that when it comes to relationship and cheating, I mean, there's so many. Oh my yeah, go God. On. Look at this. All right, all right, all right, all right. I promise. I was bringing slowly. Okay, let me start again. When it comes to relationship and cheating, there's so many components being involved, right? Yes. So it's more that it's not just about this person or the, your partner, it's also about the situation, the time. And it's not also about, um, you know, people go, oh, they're notorious. If people cheat, they ought to cheat all the time and yeah. they will never give up. I mean, I suppose there's a small percentage of those people out there, yes. but the majority, I don't think so. I think it's things in the relationship. If you don't want um, your the partner to stray, then give them reasons to stay. So I always say, if you don't want your husband or your wife to stay, give them reasons to, to stray, then give them reasons to stay. Because make sure that they come home to like, you know what I mean? Like a, a nice environment, you know, not just like clean house. That's not all, but you know, like the like ambience. Effort, the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, and being around you feels yeah. good. So if you're somebody that your husband or your wife is around you and they don't feel good about themselves, of course they're gonna go and find yes, someone. Yeah. Not because they wanna have yeah. sex with that person, but they just wanna feel good yeah. about themselves. They're, That's yeah. it. They're not getting something, so yeah. they don't find it somewhere I else. agree. You what know, about you? I'm confessing, I used to be a cheater when I was younger and I but I realised, I remember I kept jumping from relation to another because I was waiting for that person to fulfil me. When they yeah. didn't, I went That's, on with someone else. Yeah. So, but then I'm a changed person now, but it's because I'm a, I love myself, I'm fulfilled, so I do know that you can change. Um, and so, being on the other side of the shoes, I do know that you can forgive someone. So that's why it depends, you know, if they mm. really understood themselves, they wanted to work on themselves, they changed. 
you can yeah you would be able to accept so my answer is yeah possible yeah possibly. i definitely would forgive my partner mm. if you yeah. know because because obviously that that person went there for a reason because something wasn't quite right here yes and if they're willing to work on it Correct. with you and you're yeah. willing to work and it just works i don't know Correct. anything could happen yeah. all right to the topic of leaving toxic relationships have you been in toxic relationships before and how did you leave Oh wow. Okay, <laughs> okay, well let's talk about it's not just partner toxic relationships. Oh, yeah. you, could, you could have a toxic relationship with a friend and yes. that could be toxic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So, you know, how do we identify that? Mm -hmm. First of all, like someone who's draining you or feel like, you know, when you're with them, every time you're with them, you're just constantly giving What is the symptom? Yeah, I say right? jealousy. Mm -hmm. They start to, you know, you can you can feel that they're jealous of you instead mm -hmm. of uh, they're competing with you, putting you down, putting you down mm -hmm. to make themselves feel or, better. Or they so kind of say, "Oh, it's a joke." You know, they, they, oh, they yeah. tell jokes, or, or they're that being kind of con condescending, condescending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sarcasm, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that constant thing. And, yeah. and you don't feel good yeah. about it. Yeah. You know what I think that sometimes when you're around those people, you can you feel it in your heart. You kind of know. You just feel like something. It's like a terrible taste. In but your you mouth. know why it's toxic? It's toxic when you can't leave. You kind of like you, you're just there. You kind of like. You know, you're hanging in there because of the friendship, and then next time they're kind of nice to you, and then they're not, and that is yeah, what yeah. I call the You've dangerous been toxic. Being pulled, right? yes. push, push and pull, push, push and pull, yeah. push and pull, which yeah. is the hard because if they come always an asshole and just bad, yeah. then it's you, easy, you leave. Yeah. Okay, well, so how do you get out of it? So you know, I've been in situations where I didn't even notice that they mm. were toxic for a long time. Mm. Only it because sometimes in life it takes time mm. for you to see a pattern, for you to see signs and then everything kind of makes sense mm. you know so you kind of get really annoyed that you didn't see it coming mm -hmm. but you just can't you got to forgive yourself it's okay to be fooled before because you just have the best interest or you believe in human beings you believe in good people mm -hmm. but unfortunately maybe they're not there to hurt you either mm -hmm. I've come to mm -hmm. realize that they've got their own problem I just became part of their life and that I was used or I was being hurt or whatever mm -hmm. But I also have a choice. I don't want to tolerate one. I, once I found out mm. that that they mm. are toxic or they're not good for me in business mm. um, or as a friend, mm. I then cut it, and mm. I don't feel bad because I felt that I've given my all. Mm -hmm. I understood the problem. Mm. I know that they have a problem, mm. but I, it's also my choice not to accept those kind of people mm. moving forward. Mm -hmm. Do you what believe are, that they actually know that they have a problem? Or some of them don't. Yeah, some, some of them, them don't. don't. That's so why that's I don't the want thing. to be part of that. Right? Yeah, the majority of them are yeah. not really aware. No. What about you, Jackie? The majority, I was just saying, majority don't really know or not aware until you cut off that relationship. Yes. Or, and what I do is before I even cut off the relationship, I actually um, talk to them and just be frank and, and express how I feel and, you know, um, why I felt feel this way with them so they understand because some people don't actually understand yeah. you know? and I would say the ones yeah. that I leave for good is yeah. when I just know they don't even see you don't it. see they don't it. even know it's already yes. like but yeah. there's times when you might have a misunderstanding with a friend they were being not nice for a while yeah. and you talk to them but they're apologetic or they really want to work on the relationship that's not really I would say toxic I just say that it was you, you know, there was a misunderstanding yeah. or yeah. there's a way that you like something but they're not fulfilling yeah. that in that way yeah but when, when we're talking about toxic when we're talking when they're like you gotta cut it off you gotta mm -hmm. cut it off yeah how about when it's for, uh, your own family so i would say <laughs> i felt my family was toxic for me for a long time so there were periods where i didn't see them for months and years mm. but it was good because it just allowed you know mm. we're not in each other's face we're not hurting each other mm -hmm. and then over time now we're actually really good for each other but because with family you have mm. to kind of endure that more with friends or with business partners you don't have to mm. with even a boyfriend or husband if it keeps being toxic you don't have to be there no and it's better for both people sometimes you just need time as well right so what about mm. you Jen definitely I mean for me I just think that people who are toxic they self eliminate themselves from my oh, life anyway yeah. I love so that word you always say that word yeah, because I usually just just do what I, I just be me and then if they do things that don't align or say for example I'm very giving very yeah. generous person and let's say this person think oh you know I'm so good because I know how to exploit people in their relationship well I just slowly give them less opportunity to exploit mm. so if you want to be in a relationship and you that's why I say that there are people with that I call um, small minded or scarcity mindset yeah, mm. short term yeah. minded they're yeah. very short term very scarce in mindset but if they're abundant in mindset they understand that the everything flows mm. so it goes in circle yes so yeah. if you want the circle to go again to keep circling you keep flowing with the circle but if you keep on interrupting and going against the circle it stops yeah. so it's naturally stops so for mm. me they self-eliminate and you raise a good point where you just 
you know, even though I've been hurt before in yeah. many a toxic mm. relationship, I never gave up on being nice to people. I, yeah. I still meet people, give my Correct. all, why my change love. yourself? Like, yeah. why change and yourself? And why just because of one person, right? Yeah. Or, or a few people. I mean, if there are people or assholes out yeah. there, then you don't have to be an asshole. Yeah, because yeah. if be the yourself. moment you Correct. put a belief that I can't trust anyone, I'm never going to do this again or whatever, then you sabotage your own success. Because in life, you need people. Mm. In order to do business, in order yeah. to have any success in life, it's about mm. the exchange between people. And, you need and, people. And it's a learning. At the end of the day, it's a learning from that, right? Mm. Learning, okay, what, what... What are you willing to, willing to tolerate? What so are you what willing to like, tolerate? Yourself. What are you willing yeah. to focus on next time on your mm -hmm. relationship? What do I want to attract, mm -hmm. right? Correct. Yes. Correct. And I would always come from a place mm. of give first, you know, and even mm. give without expecting back. But then, of course, you're monitoring and watching, and if they love you back, and they would always reciprocate. You know, it's funny that you said give a lot of sex, right? Because usually a lot of people say, oh, you know, I want to give, give, but they're actually trading. Because when you're giving with expectation, something back. Yes. you're trading. Yes. <laughs> so when people say, oh, you know, I, I, I'm, a such, I'm a very giving person, and I look at them, I said, are you sure? Yes, yes, yes. And then I asked them. You guys aren't drinking, yeah. so, <laughs> so I asked them about the last time, and then they kind of go, so I said, are you giving or are you trading? So a lot of people actually think they're giving, but they're trading. Yeah, yes. So what are you? Yeah, right. Yeah, so you gotta give with like no expectation. Of course, when it's nice when they return back, you know that that's a real relationship, yeah. and you continue, mm -hmm. you know, to give more. Then yeah. it's not the exact transaction, yeah. but I wouldn't say to be dumb enough to keep on giving, and that person just taking everything and never giving any back. And that's when you know that hey, there's a problem there, right? And that's yeah. why it takes time to see a pattern. Correct. And then you just have to be mindful. So you know, it's like, it's like flying a kite. You know, sometimes you want it back, sometimes you let go and you want it back. So how do you take, cut a toxic person? What would you recommend? Okay, let's say imagine someone yep. right now mm -hmm. has a really good friend mm -hmm. and just realise this person ain't gonna, isn't going to change, not my type. Would you email? Would you call? What would you do? I would see the person, I would see them in person. Wow, you're brave. Yep. You know what I love to do? I send a video. <laughs> I like it. Hers is online, right? Online. Right? Online. What I love about it is you can feel my expression is raw, <laughs> thing, yeah. but you can't fight back because it's my <laughs> video. <laughs> I get to say everything I want. It's not because if it's a word, you will misunderstand, or you might yeah. scan it, and yeah. you're emotional, and you're not mm. really understanding. But you watch a video. You might be angry at the time, yeah. but I don't have to deal with that anger. Because yeah. imagine if I, because if I was in front of them, I feel like they're gonna like, oh, you know, defensive yeah, yeah. or something, or beg or do something, and I don't want to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is more in my control. I like to yeah. kind of send a video. What about you, Jackie? <laughs> I would do it over the phone, actually. Oh, oh actually, that's still no, quite live yeah. reaction. You know, because on the phone you don't need to see their face, and you don't want to see their face. You can hang face, up. <laughs> yeah. And you can just hang up. <laughs> <laughs> or you can do that. Oh, so I gotta go now. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, I think I, yeah, think I still like to see them in person. That's really nice yeah. of you, yeah. respectful. Maybe yeah. I'm a coward. <laughs> no, I, think I don't want you to fight. Like, so you just love control so much, and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah. where it's because I don't want to change. You don't want to deal with that. Yeah. I don't want to change yeah. the outcome. You know that I, you just want to. If break I want to, if I care about you and I talk to you, it's because I'm I'm open to the outcome. Oh my gosh, that means that she's got a soft heart. So if she if they actually talk to her, they'll they'll. Yeah, I have a very soft heart. Oh my god. So, yes. so it's not being a coward, yeah. it's because you know, I know you're right. protecting your you're, heart. You're yes. not, you're there. No, but I agree. If it's someone that's worth keeping that relationship, then I actually would meet up with them. Yeah, because yeah. I think yeah, it it's depends. okay. Yeah. yeah. And if, if like, I don't care at all, it would be a text because I don't yeah. care if you misunderstand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't hate me all yeah, you want. Yeah, I probably wouldn't text, but either, yeah, telephone or face to face, depending on mm. how I want to. Yeah. yeah, and that's why I think the biggest lesson for people, like mm. if you know me, don't know me. I, I'm really kind, but don't mistake it with, weak, uh, with weakness. And yeah. it's such a shame because, either, yeah. yeah, because then you've got such a kind person that you could have had a friend being friends, but then Correct. you took a bet, you thought that they're too nice and you step over them. No, and then you all think of that they're stupid. They, That's yeah. the advantage of them. And then they just kind of end that relationship and you can't even, yeah. you know, take back that anymore. So, yeah. Yeah. So don't cross the land, okay? <laughs> well, I hope you. I, I, I don't want to sound like I, you know. I, I, know I, I do love kindness, but I just said you know your standards, you know yeah, yourself. You gotta know. It's okay to be firm. Yeah. And okay to you know to put your happiness before. Yeah. We're anything. kind, but we're very assertive. Yes. Correct. And firm without this. <laughs> and, and, and here's the other thing: be brave and have the strength to break off that toxic yes. relationship. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers, if you're guys. new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button so that you get notifications when the video is up. Let us know what your favorite wine is in the comments below. I think this is, nice? is so good. It, this is nice. This it, is, it is better yes. when it's cold, though. It's a very good <laughs> dessert wine. Thank you, guys. Lynn Fedetti here. Jennifer Kayo. Jackie Ashley. See you next time. Bye. Cheers.